In this video, we're going to take a look at the describe command inside of Midjourney. With describe, you can upload any image and then tell Midjourney to describe the image back to you. You can then use this to learn the best way that Midjourney itself likes to break down and generate content. So if you're struggling to come up with prompts, you can use describe to help you out. To get started, I'll grab an image that I've already generated before inside of Midjourney. So this one here is the one that I'm going to use. Head over into the Discord app or the web app if you use that to interact with Midjourney. I like to use the direct message way of sending prompts, so I'll head into direct messages and then choose the Midjourney bot. Now, in the message box, type forward slash describe and then hit enter. That will then automatically put in an image section and then give you an upload box. Next, drag the image that you want to reverse prompt into the box here. Once the image uploads into the message, hit enter. It'll then send the describe command to Midjourney and it's going to get to work. When it's finished, you're going to get four variations of the text prompt back. From here, you can check out the different prompts and see which one you like best. When you find one that you do want to try, you can then run that prompt by choosing the number at the bottom. So if we like the second prompt, we can then head to the bottom and then choose two here and it'll then run that as a new imagine prompt. And when you do, you may get a remix box where you can tweak the prompt even more if you want. If you're good with how it is though, just go ahead and continue. After that, it'll run just like a new prompt, giving us four new variations to choose from or build off of. Taking a look back at the original describe results, you'll see that we also have an imagine all option at the bottom. When you choose that, it'll queue all four prompts together at the same time, and it will then run imagine prompts for all of the variations that you got. So, as you can see, if you play around with this and upload a few different images, it can give you some help on creating your own new prompts. This is also a cool feature if you have an image that you really like and you just want to get some variations to it or add your own new input to it. And that's how you use the describe command inside of Midjourney to reverse prompt any image.